let's compare qualitative research with quantitative research. Up to this point, we have been studying quantitative research, how to, how to test hypotheses with uh, uh, surveys, essentially. Now, we're going to look at qualitative research, which is quite different. Let's start off with the definition of qualitative research. I'm using a lot of this material from John Cresswells, his book, uh, Qualitative Inquiry and Research Design, which is a great book and really easy to understand. So if you want to go into qualitative research, it's a book that I highly recommend. So a definition is collecting, analyzing, and interpreting subjective, non-quantitative data to persuasively answer a research question concerning an important issue. Okay, so let's look at the key parts of this uh, 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 definition. First of all, you're going to be collecting data just like you do in quantitative research. You've got to get data. You've got to get information from people. You're going to have to analyze the data. Now, you won't necessarily analyze it numerically on Excel or SPSS, but you will analyze it maybe looking for themes or looking for uh, uh, ideas and connections that people make. And then you will interpret the data. What does this mean? How does it apply to what we already know? And how does it apply to the situation? We're going to be using subjective data, not quantitative data, where a three means a three and a one means a one, but generally what people say, sentences that they use, paragraphs that they use. And that is much more subjective than using uh, uh, numbers. But just like quantitative research, qualitative research is to answer a research question and to do so persuasively. You're trying to make a real strong argument. And in a lot of ways, qualitative research can be more persuasive because you're incorporating people's stories, people lo people's lives, what they say, which is a lot easier for other people to understand than numbers. And once again, like quantitative research, it needs to be concerning an important issue. Now, qualitative research, the issue might, might be much broader because you can ask people very broad questions, where in quantitative research, it tends to be quite narrow because you're trying to test a specific hypothesis. Now, let's look at some typical characteristics of qualitative research compared to quantitative research. First of all, qualitative research tends to be done in a natural setting. You interview people about their experience in an office or their experience in life versus a laboratory setting where you might be giving them specific stimuli or asking them to respond to some type of scenario. So the qualitative research tends to, to reflect uh, Real, the, the background is where you collect your data is more realistic because you're acting, asking people to bring information from their real life to you. Another difference is that the, uh, to get this subjective data, the research, researcher develops a unique instrument, which is typically a set of interview questions, to get the information to collect the data. We're not going to be using psychometrically validated measures of specific concepts like uh, organizational commitment, things like that, that always mean the same thing in different contexts. We're going to, whenever we have a research question, we'll develop our own set of questions to pull information out of people. Another characteristic of qualitative uh, research is that it uses a lot of different methods. Um, typically, interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews are the most common, but there's also focus groups, which are kind of like group, group interviews. You can go around observing people, or you can even use surveys like we do in quantitative research if people are willing to write about their uh, experience. Another uh, uh, difference is that in qualitative research, you focus on the participant's meaning 
rather than psychometrically validated measures that have a well-defined uh, meaning of specific concepts. So we're not going to ask them about, uh, uh, we're not going to measure their organizational commitment using predefined meanings of organizational commitment. We're going to find out what does it mean for them to be committed to their organization. So there's that emphasis on their meaning. Another characteristic is that emergent design occurs. As you interview people, you might figure out that you're not asking the right question, so you'll start asking different people as you go along. Whereas in quantitative uh, research, you do not want to change the instrument. Otherwise, uh, you're measuring different things in different people. So that's a, a very different approach to getting data. Another characteristic of qualitative research is that it should include reflexivity. That means the person collecting data needs to be aware of their own biases and they need to point out what their biases are as, as much as they can. So if I am studying organizational commitment, I will need to try to reflect on what are my biases concerning organizational commitment. And as I present the data and what it means, I should include a commentary uh, on how my subjective interpretation of all of this is likely to have been influenced by my biases. So that's a, another characteristic. Whereas in quantitative research, we're trying to be as objective as possible using the same operationalization as somebody else would if they were repeating this study. Now, the purpose of qualitative uh, research versus quantitative research is more exploratory in nature rather than testing a specific hy hypothesis. So in general, um, in a perfect world, we would start off with qualitative research, find out what the problems are, come up with a hypothesis, and then test it with quantitative research. When we do both qualitative and quantitative research, it's what we called mixed methods, and sometimes that can be very, very uh, effective. Other times, we just want to test a hypothesis where we would use quantitative research, or other times we just want to explore a problem where we would use only qualitative research.